first tutorial for Photoshop from chrislanephoto.com. Today I'm going to be talking about the Move Tool. Move Tool is this first button in the toolbar here. It's this arrow with crosshair. Uh, for the keyboard shortcut, hit the V key. I'll switch over there. If you don't see your toolbar, go to Window. Make sure this tool is checked. So it's gone. Check it again and it'll be back. The basics of the move tool is that you move whatever layer you have selected. So I've got my nose selected here in this completely unhandsome photo of myself. I'm going to go ahead and move my nose. And I just rip my nose off my face. I'll go ahead and undo that. If I hold down the shift key and move, I can keep it constrained in 45 degree angles like that. And I'll go and put my nose back. Selecting another layer, I'll select my eyebrows, put that to the side. To copy, just hold down the Alt key and say I want a double set of eyebrows. I'll just drag that up. Or actually, maybe I'll bring it down and I'll give myself an eyebrow mustache. How about that? One of the handy features of the Move tool is you can make guides for your image. To make guides, either hit, either go into View and hit rulers or you can hit control R. So I'll hit control R like that and you can see you got these rulers in the sides of your image. All you need to do to make a guide is select in there, drag down and I'll put one right about where my eyes are. You can also come in from the other side go like that. If you want to change the direction just hold down the alt key and it'll flip it over like that. To get rid of them just drag it up and off. And that pretty much covers the rules. The nice thing about guides is that your layers will snap. So this eyebrow layer here I'll bring up. As you can see it's right now it's not snapping. If I go to view, hit snap, make that's checked, it's gonna snap along and it'll slide along the guide nicely like that. If you need to move the origin the zero point of your ruler is here. As you can see, default it's in the top left corner. Just come up to this box, drag it where you want it to be, and put it there. And then you can see zeros. If you need to change the increments of your ruler, right now by default it's pixels. Just right click, and you have these options. I think I'll delete these eyebrows. Just hit the delete key. One of the functions with the move tool is nudge if you want to move it a short amount of space. I'm going to select my eyes here and hit the up arrow key to nudge and it'll move one pixel at a time. If you want to move 10 pixels at a time, hold down the shift key and hit the up arrow. And that'll tuck my eyes nicely up underneath my eyebrows. So I will undo that, put my eyes back in place. I'm going to zoom in further on my face by hitting Control plus hold down the space key to move up. And some of the extra functions of the Move tool. If you right click over a layer like this, a menu will pop up showing what you have below that spot that you clicked, that you right clicked. So you can see I've got nose, edited, background. So if I want to select my nose, all I need to do is select that. And I can move my nose to my forehead. Beautiful. If I want to select multiple layers, hold down the shift key, right click, and I'll select my eyebrows, and I'll make that mustache again. I have a nice mid-face nose there. If I want to deselect one of them but not the other, right click, Hold down your shift key and hit nose, and then I've just got my eyebrows to make that nice mustache into where it needs to be. If I want to select similar layers, in other words, all the shapes, the rasters, or the smart objects, uh, all I have on here right now is raster objects. So if I hit select similar layers, it'll select all of the raster layers that I have. I'll control Z that. You can link layers through that as well. What I'll do is deselect my edited layer. If I go down to link layers, that'll link the eyes, 
nose and eyebrows layers. So then if I select the edited layer, move that, and then I select the eyes, that'll select all of them essentially because they are linked. I'm so pretty. <laughs> I'm going to control Z to go back to normal. There we go. Now I look like I normally look like. All the tools also have a toolbar at the top with further options. This auto select here will select anything that's below where you're pointing automatically. So I don't have the eyes selected at the moment, but if I just click and drag, I select the eyes just by clicking over them. Same with the nose, etc. So I'll control Z to go back. And the same with the menu. If I right click on the spot, I'll have, in this case, my nose and my eyebrows selected. I'm going to select my eyes. This drop down box, you can either do this in layers or groups which I don't have at the moment. I'll go back to layer, select my eyes. The show transform controls brings up a boundary box around the selected layer. It's pretty handy if you want to do just a quick adjustment. Usually I stick with the free transform tool, but in this case I can quickly adjust my eyes so that they're level on my face and get or even go turn them upside down, stretch them out, have exceptionally large eyes. Hit enter to okay that. Usually I shut that off. I usually have auto select shut off as well. If I have multiple layers selected, like the nose and the eyes here, these buttons here become available and I can align the layers. So I can align the top edges, them into the center, bottom, left, center, to the right. Then I have a nose for an eye. I'll control Z. Put that back to normal. Well, if I have three or more layers selected, then these options become available. This distributes them among the top, center, bottom, the left, the center, and the right. I usually avoid these because they don't seem to be very intuitive to me. And I'll make myself back to normal here. Okay, and the final button here on the toolbar is the auto-align layers, as you can see as it pops up. For this I'll open up a different document. Say you come in and you have three different uh, photos of the same thing that you want to line up. Well this makes it really easy for you. Just click on that. Uh, you can choose four different options. Auto is actually pretty good. Just click OK and it'll take a little bit of time depending on how much processor and RAM speed that you have. Okay, and there you can see that it's all lined up, and then you can just go ahead and crop and uh, do your different adjustments for each layer individually to line them all up. If you want to move layers from one document to another, I'll just move this to the side and open up this one down here. These are the same size documents, by the way. All you need to do is select and drag them over, and there you've got eyes, nose, and some eyebrows. With the same size document like this, if I hold down the shift key and drag them over, they'll pop into the exact same spot as on the original document. If you have a different size document, such as this one, and you shift drag them over, they'll pop directly into the center like that. And that pretty much covers the move tool. Thank you for viewing.